Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Sweet and Sour Soccer. It's been in the papers over the last few days. Is it going to happen? Is it not? It felt like more like we were just waiting for it to happen, actually. But Claudio Ranieri has been given the sack by Watford Football Club. It now has been officially confirmed after three and a half months in charge with the club. Now, look, I think, as always, you know, there's going to be jokes made about Watford having another managerial sack in and it not really giving the manager much time. But I really do feel with this one, it's completely spot on. And I will go into why on the video. Guys, before I do, though, please do make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I mean, look, really, when talk about Ranieri, his record says it all. If we look at his form, 13 games in the actual Premier League, in which only two wins came from that in that time, 10 losses and one draw. The one draw being to Newcastle as well. Um, he pulled off victories against Everton, who haven't been having the best season, and obviously the most memorable one, Manchester United. But all in all, it really was not good enough, and 0.5 points per game. I mean, look, you need near double that, don't you, to stay in the Premier League these days. You need a roughly around a point a game usually, although it has been a slightly less the last couple of years, but not 0.5 per game less. Ranieri, to me, has been a complete failure with Watford. And the question isn't around where they're right to sack him. It was more It's more about why was he appointed in the first place. Um, obviously, given a contract as well to 2023, it's another managerial payout. It's another mistake by Watford Football Club. And to be honest, Ranieri, I mean, look, he's holding his Premier League medal with Leicester in this picture. But he was never going to do anything comparable to that. And of course, that's probably an obvious comment. But the job was to keep Watford up. And to be honest, Watford have a decent team behind them. They really do. Players like Dennis, for example, Saar. And they've also had, you know, they've got a good few players in defence as well. This isn't a, a team for me personally, but I feel should actually be in the relegation zone as they are now. I actually do believe that Watford should be a bit um, further up in the table. And of course, the manager that they did sack before Ranieri was, has obviously done a better job than him. So if anything, they should have kept uh, the Munez, wasn't it, in, in charge of Watford Football Club. But look, they got rid of him. I think some Watford fans agreed that was the right decision at the time. But the appointment of Ranieri just really has not worked and it hasn't made any sense at all to me, to be honest. And one thing that you've got to consider with Ranieri, you know, was his heart ever really in this? I mean, he's towards the end of his managerial career, apart from obviously his triumph with Leicester, where he did, let's face it, inevitably end up getting the sack after that still. He didn't really have any success after that. It was just a bit of a strange appointment, really, and didn't feel like a long-term um, progression for Watford Football Club. Now, you, you know, you're talking about long term. The problem at Watford Football Club are going to have now is attracting managers because there is, there is this false pretense uh, that Watford, well, I guess it's not false, but Watford will be to blame for this. People will blame Watford, go, oh, what another managerial sack in. Oh, he hasn't been given enough time. Ranieri was disastrous. He really was. Ranieri has been disastrous in charge. There was nothing really tactically there to support that he'd been a good manager. It weren't just the results going against him. Obviously shamed and knocked out of the FA Cup by Leicester City in a 4-1 defeat as well. It, it was. It's just been a whole mess, but there is this narrative around Watford and Watford need to really take a, a, you know, a step back and think, what, what's the identity of Watford Football Club? What's the playing style? What do we want from these managers? And ideally, Watford really do need to find a long-term candidate now because if this keeps happening, man, you're not going to get the right managers coming to Watford. You're really not. And the board need to be a bit more accurate and a bit more think things through more and really focus on making the right appointment. I heard Neil Warnock joke on Talk Sport just this morning actually saying he would actually love the Watford job because you get a two-year contract. And you owe, you only have to complete three months of them and you've been paid two years wages for three months work. And that's the narrative that is coming around Watford. And I think it's about time now that the board started to realise, look, if we don't start getting things right and giving managers more time when they actually deserve it, then we are going to become a club that's not going to be able to attract a good crop of manager because they just don't feel they're going to be given the opportunity. I think Watford really need to have a think about that in the next appointment 
Guys, let me know. Um, do you agree with everything I've said? Do you agree that it was right that Ranieri was, uh, had to go? I'd be surprised if anyone wanted to keep him from a Watford point of view or even, you know, just other football fans. And also, who do you think is going to be next in line for the Watford job? This one's going to be interesting to see who, you know, who's the early odds, who's early, um, I suppose, the early contenders for the Watford job. Probably do a video on that tomorrow as well. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.